gift of freedom. Man, rise, trouble breathing. Oh, Lord. All right, let's honor America, our national anthem. Oh, yeah. Everybody's standing. Hats off. Here we go. Thank you, America. It's coming up here in a sec, boys and girls. Home of the brave, and that is true, and we're live from Heroes Park at Legion Field in Bozeman, Montana, the Idaho Blackfoot Broncos are in town to take on the back-to-back -back state champion, Bozeman Bucks. Hi, everybody. This is Mark Miller along with Bob Wall. The senator, senator gave me instructions today. <laughs> you know it's important when they go, I, you know, the senator gives you that look, Bob, and you're like, I need to talk to you. What was I walking in my sleep? What happened? But anyways, uh, I got everything up and running, and the headset, headset's got a short. It's right when you plug it in. I just got to tape it up better. So a great night for baseball. The Bucks are in the field. Let's set it for you. Out on the mound is Brady Higgs, the 19-year-old real. Come on, Miller, the 19-year-old right-hander at Jamestown. His coach is here, Andrew Western, behind the plate. Third to first, Luke Rizzo. Kellen Harrison, Bryce Hampton, and the two, Max Batucci over at first. Left to right in the outfield, the way the wind is blowing, Dylan Coleman, Logan Palethorpe, and Jake Vegan. So we're ready for baseball. Ben Wilson, Avion Martinez, and Tyler Vance to lead things off. In their white pants, on the front of their jerseys, has a B, a white B, like a Brooklyn B on a, the Brooklyn Dodgers hat, kind of an old-fashioned. But classy uniforms, and then the Bucks are in gray pants, gray jerseys, red numbers, red socks with black and white. And then across the front, it says Bozeman black hats with red numbers, so red belts. The grass is green. The old saying, they asked Dick Allen, what do you think about AstroTurf? He goes, I don't know. I never smoked it. Here we go, Dick Allen. Of course, 351 home runs in the major legs. But we're playing on real Montana grass, and we're ready. The Broncos, Ben Wilson, the center fielder, steps up. 5'8", 180, right-handed hitter. And the top of the first, Brady Higgs out on the mound, the right-hander. Hayes also heading to... Jamestown next year to play baseball. Right-handed hitter, right-handed pitcher. Higgs over the top with his hands. Fastball misses outside. Want to know. One of those pristine nights for baseball. As you know. Of course, last night, fastball in there. Strike one and one looking on Wilson, Ben Wilson. Last night, lightning. Got to stop it. Thunder, and then a torrential curveball whacked over the first baseman's head, a looper down the line. Here comes Vegan as Wilson takes a high fastball and just loops it down the right field line for a leadoff single for the Broncos, and they're in business. Here's Avian Martinez, the left fielder, right-handed hitter, number 20, with green numbers on the back. I like it. Black Sox. Good. Anybody from Idaho, because two years ago, Idaho Falls won the whole American League and uh, Legion World Series out of our region. First time that's ever happened, the Northwest region won it. Breaking ball high, I want to know. So I think you got to keep that spirit alive of two years ago. No uh, World Series last year, but great to have the Idaho teams here. They play a great 
Great brand of baseball. Good lead at first. Held on by Tooch. Fastball outside. Snap throw to first. Not in time. A lot of kids in their uniforms here eating nachos. Boy, I'm winded. Whoo. Got some situations, but nothing Fitz can't fix. 2-0 and on the batter. No outs. Top of the first. Ben Wilson singled down the right field line. He's got his biggest lead now. Higgs from the belt. Breaking ball high. 3-0. and Higgs was asking me how to throw the cutter yesterday, so I was having him hold his two-seam fastball. Then you just tilt the ball to comfort. You, it's like a clock. You'll tilt it like a clock, you know, 6-6 six to six, all the way around, 12-12, to 12, whatever. You know, maybe tilt it one inch. 3-0 and fastball. That's high, but a strike looking. Is that Sage McMahon out there? That could be. Is that Sage McMahon? I saw Sage. He's been umpiring. He umpired earlier. I don't know if he – is that him behind the plate? I think it is. Fastball fouled away. He had 16 home runs here last year, Sage. I hope his grandparents are listening down in New Mexico. The land of enchantment. I've been there. To, I've been to Roswell, Las Cruces, Albuquerque, Silver City, Hobbs. Uh, said, uh, I have a girlfriend that lives in Santa Fe. I keep trying to move in or move it down there, I'm trying to encourage her. Three and two on the batter. Wind blowing third to first. Curveball hit down slowly to short. Harrison on the run. Picks it. Traps her. Throws. In time, good stretch, but Harrison had to charge and throw on the run, and the 15-year-old looking like an 18-year-old. Runner to second, 6-3 if you're scoring at home. Boy, good stretch by Tooch. Tooch, <laughs> I love talking to Tooch. He's interesting. Right-handed hitter Tyler Vance up, runner at second, one out for Blackfoot Broncos from Idaho. Pocatella, and what's the other town? I'll, I'll find it. Here's a chopper back to the mound. Play to third. Nobody there. They go to first, and he keeps his foot on, but Rizzo came in to get the high chopper. It was to the right of the pitcher between third and uh, the mound, so Rizzo came in to get the chopper, but nobody guarded third. They could have had a shot at the runner, but Wilson to third, and that goes 1-3, and Peyton Brooks, the pitcher's up, right-handed hitter with a white helmet. Well, Rizzo was just doing his job. Go get the ball if you can get it. But he couldn't get back to third in time because a good hustle, breaking ball high, one and no. No score, top of the first. I'll find out from somebody, what is the town across from Pocatello? <laughs> Man, I've been through there. Is it Twin Falls? No, no, that's not it. I've been through there, too. Did a game there. Oh, well, let it go. Fastball, chopper to third. Rizzo, no, that is Rizzo loading up, gunning. Did he get him? Dig by Tucci, he did. So another sprint by the third baseman, 15 years old, and he sprints in, catches it, throws it to first, and that'll do it. 5-3, they strand one, no scores. We go to the bottom of the first inning. But he had to charge the whole way, just like Kellen Harrison. Harrison. No score, bottom of the first, brought to you by the Ribbon Chop House. Vote, voted best steakhouse in Montana and Wyoming. I could look it up on my Googler. That's what I'm going to do. You know, when you can't think of a movie or a song, and uh, let's see, Pocatello, Tello, and then Blackfoot, Map, Idaho. I love Idaho. I fished the Snake River quite a bit. And uh, images, here it is, Pocatello. Oh, no, that's not it. Looking for a map. But anyways, it's great to have him out on the mound. Peyton Brooks is out there. Behind the plate is Micah Sandoval. Third to first, Ryan Steedley. I hope I'm getting that right. Short is Tyler Vance. Boston Ross at second, and Nate Goodwin over at first. Left to right in the outfield for the Broncos. Avian Martinez, Ben Wilson, and Cooper Neffin. Big right-hander on the mound, Peyton Brooks. Looks like he's 6'2", maybe 6'3". I can't tell. We don't have a roster, but a good 2'10". And he'll face Luke Rizzo, Logan Palethorpe, and Jake Vegan. No scores. We go to the bottom of the first. We'll be here tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, too. Don't forget the alumni game next Wednesday right here. 
Well, so here comes Luke Rizzo. Pots it first, coaching. Garrett Schultz down at third. And Peyton Brooks is ready to light things up. And Luke Rizzo's dad is on the PA in the background. You, you notice the New York accent. No score, bottom of the first, right-handed pitcher, left-handed batter, into the windup. Fastball, line down the line, base hit. This will be two. Rizzo turns the corner, heading for second. Martinez brings it in, and the first pitch he sees, Rizzo lines down the third base line. Continues his hitting streak to bring up Logan Palethorpe. We'll hear from Logan here in a little bit. He showed me how to do something on here. Voice memos. There it is. We've got a five minute and 12 second on my voice memo with Logan. You'll like it. I'll run it here soon. Here's Logan, right handed hitter. Rizzo down the line, curveball, swung on, found it away. We'll do it again. You bring that ball back, you get a free cat. Bozeman Bucks, you get concession stands. No score. Rizzo right down the line. Steely at third was only 10 feet off the line, but he sliced it by him. The 0-1 taking his time is Brooks. Curveball looks good, is good. Called strike to Palethorpe, 0-2. He's got five home runs to lead all bucks. Last year, the Sage McMahon hit 16. He's out there umpiring. 0-2 on Palethorpe. Peyton Brooks got a nice slow curve. Will we see it again? Nope. Fastball whack foul down the third baseline. We'll do it again. I saw an L.A. Dodger hat. I had to pay compliments to the uh, young man. I grew up from my front door to the Dodger Stadium, to the Do to Dodger Stadium, 12 miles exactly. I've been to over 700 Dodger games. But this is there's no place I'd rather be than with you right here. Here's a fastball off the corner. One and two. Yeah, bring the kids out. They'll like the ice cream here. Candy, sodas, and then health food too. Brats, burgers, and dogs. The one, two, breaking ball, blocked him. No, nicked him, hit him. And that'll bring up Jake Vegan. Vegan was hitting eighth and ninth, seven, eighth, ninth early in the season, and now he's batting third. He's moved up. And that's a compliment to his great work ethic. He's a quarterback. He's a truck. I keep telling I want to have six Bozeman Bucks come out to my cousin's house in Malibu, teach all these guys how to surf. Here's Vegan, first and second. Curveball, little looper in the left. That'll be a base hit. Rizzo will hold it third. And Vegan does it again. A single to left. The bases are loaded for the two. Cheers, Max Matucci. Rizzo at third, Pale Thorpe at second, Vegan at first. first Bottom of the first, no score. The Blackfoot, Idaho uh, Broncos. So right-handed pitcher. And here's Max Matucci. They play him deep and right to pull. The wind, nothing right now. The gorgeous mountains in the background. Fastball, ground ball into right field. One run will score. Here's Niffin up with it. They'll hold the runner at third. It was hard hit between first and second, and Matucci has an RBI single. It's one nothing Bozeman Bucks. He hit it so hard, everybody could only move up 90, so Tucci at first with an RBI single to bring up Red Hayes. A double by Rizzo, hit batter, Pale Thorpe, Vegan with a single, Tooch with a single, and here's Red Hayes, nobody out. Base is loaded, top of the first. And the Bucks beat Idaho Falls last night. I think it was 10-3. It ended in the top of the sixth because of the hail, rain, lightning, thunder, and general downpour of water. Curveball strike looking. That's his best pitch. He's got a slow curve, and it's got a lot of break. Great change of pace off his fastball. 0-1 oh, to Hayes. There's the breaking ball again. Uh, down there, a coach was telling me Brooks Robinson was a curveball hitter for the Orioles. He he looked fastball to foul off, but he loved hitting the curve. Well, Brooks has got a good one. Fastball popped up. Shallow right. The wind's got it. Tagging at third is Palethorpe, right fielder with the catch. Play at the plate. Here's the throw, and they'll cut it off because Niffin into Ross. I think that's Ross. No, good one, the first baseman, Nate. 
and no way. So a good play. Just an F9. Here's Andrew Western had a double down the line yesterday, right-handed hitter. Now he's left-handed. He's a switch hitter, catcher. Good to see Nate Thompson out here yesterday. Thank you, Nate. Bases loaded. And it's 2 nothing Bucks or one nothing. Slow roller to first. He knocks it down. Nobody's at first, so he goes to second. The run will score. Good play by Goodwin on a one hopper to his right. So Palethorpe scores to make it 2 nothing. Vegan to third. Tooch is out. And Andrew Western gets an RBI. That goes 4-6 on your scorecard to bring up Dylan Coleman, the left fielder, 6-3, 200. Well, good play going to his right, good one, a, a one hopper, and he knocked it down. Oh, nobody covering first, so he went to second. Good play. Here's Coleman, first and third, bottom of the first, two nothing bucks. They banged out three hits. Light singles against the right hander, Brooks, for the Broncos, who sets at the belt, checks the runner. Breaking ball, strike look, and 0 1 on Coleman. That's his bread and butter right there. You know, wind blowing third to first. The sun is on the pasture below the trees on the Bridger Mountains. No little snow, little little patch up there, I think. <laughs> oh, one runner goes. Nope, curveball in there. Oh, and two looking. Rice Hampton on deck. 315 year old starting for the Bucks. Hampton at second, Harrison at short, Rizzo at third. And their futures are bright. Like yours, 0-2 on Coleman, two outs, two in, two on, and two strikes. The deuces are wild right here at Heroes Park in Bozeman, Montana. Coleman at 0-2, Peyton Brooks is like, come on, boys, they're not hitting us that hard. Curveball, that's hit hard up the middle, base hit, one run will score. Runner to third, RBI single make it, makes it 3 nothing. Coleman, might, the pitcher, Brooks, might have slowed it down, hit his glove, but it still shot up the middle. That's the hardest hit ball. So, Vegan scores. Western to third. Or Armstrong's running, so Army down there. So, an RBI single for Coleman down at first to bring up Bryce Hampton right-hander. It's 3 nothing. On four hits in the bottom of the first for the hometown Bozeman Bucks. American Legion baseball. First and third. Now that ball was hit hard. Peyton Brooks is like, these guys could swing it. Well, you bet. Curveball swung on a miss. Strike one to Bryce Hampton. Says dad serving chicken. So Mr. Rizzo, all the parents volunteer. Nice crowd on hand. Come on out. It's gorgeous. Bring the kids. First and third, three nothing bucks. Bottom of the first, two outs. And Bryce Hampton's up, the second baseman. Curveball, low, steal to second. They throw to short. They try to come home, and he'll be out. And that'll go 2 6 2 back. So you just go 2 6 2 on Western, and that'll do it. But the Bucks get three. They strand one, and we played one. It's now three nothing Bozeman. Yo. All right. Oh, I, somebody said, hey, Miller. There's a player in front of me named Miller from Fairfield. Bucks take the field, leading 3 nothing. I hope we're up and running. It says we are. I'm sure I'd get a call if we weren't. Hope everybody had his – I hope everybody had a great day. I mean, uh, it is a beautiful day here, wherever you're at. We hope it's beautiful. So I'm looking up Pocatello, Tello, and then Blackfoot. Foot, Idaho. I'll see exactly where they're from so I could tell you. All right. Oh, here it is. Okay, so you're not too far from, uh, what is that town over there? There's Collins. You come down the 15 there. Blackfoot. And then uh, Pocatella's right there. So, okay, Blackfoot, Pocatella, Collins. That's the name of the town. Thank you. Who invented Google? The Googler. Idaho State's down there. They got an indoor football stadium. Been there. 
Done basketball there. So it'll be Nate Goodwin. Lead things off. Ryan's, I hope, I hope I'm saying it like, right. Ryan's S-T-E-I-D-L-Y. It's either, I think it's Steedley. We'll find out. And Micah Sandoval. In the first inning, they got a single and stranded one. Wilson let off of the game with a single. Ban got the third. They stranded him. And here we go. It's 3 nothing. Bozeman, top of the second. Left-handed hitter, Nate Goodwin, against the right-hander. Sunshine on the field. It sets in the west. Fastball sprayed foul. Gorgeous big sky. Of course, that's our slogan, the big, big sky state. Idaho is famous potatoes and great baseball players. Oh, yeah. Herman Killebrews from uh, Hall of Famer from Payette, Idaho. Fastball away, one and one. Three nothing box top of the seven. Seven inning game. We'll be here tomorrow at seven o'clock. Hope you could join us. If not, join us radio side. Left handed hitter, one and one. Higgs comes back with a curveball lifted to Palethorpe in center. And it's shallow. The wind's knocking it down. Palethorpe with the catch off good one. Center field. Here's. The third baseman, right-handed hitter. Third baseman, number one, Ryan Steidley. Steidley. All right, Steid. Excuse me if there's any Steidley listening. One out, top of the second, 3 nothing. Bozeman, nobody on. And Higgs is fastball, low and away, 1-0. I saw a couple babies here. I mean, brand new, like, three-month-old babies. Oh, yeah. They serve beer here, too. Here's the 1-0. Fastball high, 2-0. Cold beer. You can buy, like, a metal tub from Coors. They give you seven beers on ice, bottled beer. Share with your friends. 2-0. Fastball, ground ball to third. Rizzo can't get it. Backhanded by Harrison. He's got a long throw and an infield single. So, Steidley beats it out, hit it to the hole, backhanded by Harrison. And here is Micah Sandoval. So they got a little juice going right off the bat. The Broncos from Blackfoot. I think my favorite town in Idaho. I used to like catch them. Uh, what's the one? Sun City? Not Sun City. Sun Valley. One out, one on for the Broncos. Top of the second. Brady Higgs, the right-hander for the Bucks. Fastball away, 1-0. This is Micah Sandoval, the catcher. Strong. Strong legs. They play him shallow in the outfield, deep and short in second. 1-0, one out. Good lead at first for Steidley. Fastball popped up into the wind. Vegan looking into the sun with the glasses down. The wind pushes it in about 10 yards from the infield. And a vegan with a long run. Now, that wind is third to first, but it's a downward win. And here is Cooper Nevin, the right fielder, right-handed hitter. So how far did uh, Vegan run there? About 30 yards, but he likes to run. He's, he's young. He's a teenager. They're all two teenagers. So Steidley trying to get the second. Now two outs. And Cooper Niffin at the plate. Righty on righty. Fastball. Low, 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 low. 1 and 0. Oh. Somebody down there eating a uh, tamale. They might have snuck in their own. Everybody's eating. It's great. Come to the park and eat. Fastball strike looking 1 and 1 on uh, Niffin. I used to go to the movies after uh, I used to counsel in prison. Yep, there's another job, but I, I decompress, go to the movies. Nothing better than bringing your own food into the movies. 1 1. Breaking ball high, but a strike looking. One and two. Yeah, I'd have dinner in, in a Royal Grande there below San Luis Obispo. I'd go to the movies three nights a week just to chill down. Nothing better than eating barbecue ribs in a movie. Yeah. One ball, two strike. Everything tastes better at the ballpark, though. We got you covered. Curveball fouled away. Runner going. You always say, do they, do they deliver? Do they deliver? I don't know, but I'm sure they could. There's, we got a great crowd here. There's 12 teams in this tournament, the Treasure State Showdown. 12. Washington, Oregon, Nevada, California, Idaho, Wyoming, and Montana. Beautiful tournament. Good job, Garrett. 
Fastball line that foul. So the Broncos trying to get a little rally going. They're trailing three nothing with two outs, runner at first in the top of the second. Pleasant night. There's a lot of pleasant nights to come. Don't forget the alumni game next Wednesday here. I think it's seven, might be at six. One, two, let's see if the runner's going. Nope, curveball. Swung on a miss, strike three. So they strand one. We go to the bottom of the second. Bucks leading three to nothing. I'd like to thank Kenyon Noble, Livingston, Belgrade, and Bozeman. Home, hardware, everything you need. Plumbing, you name it. Kenyon Noble, Albertson Safeway. Shop local. Of course, the Ribbon Chop House, wonderful place to go after the game to celebrate. Harvest Solar. I saw some building up here. We, a car wash has hot water from solar. It says we're solar powered or solar something. I don't know. But if you're looking for solar, Harvest Solar, as sure as the sun will rise. And then the Bozeman Daily Chronicle. So Peyton Brooks out on the mound. Good-looking right-hander. Gave up a few hits there in the first inning. You know how that goes. Beautiful night for baseball as... Hampton's up. He was up when they tried a double steal that went 2 6 2. Do it to the shortstop. Runner thrown out at home. But they're serving little ice cream sundaes. Vanilla ice cream with chocolate. I think. Your own little uh, spoon. And here's Hampton, number five, the second baseman for the Bucks. And Peyton Brooks out on the mound. The right hander delivers. Fastball right over his head. Line drive into center. Center for the fifth hit for the Bucks to start the. Bottom of the second, leading three to nothing. Shortstop, number 10, Kellen Harrison. There's Kellen Harrison made a nice play in the first inning defensively. So Hampton takes a high fastball into center. Three runs on five hits, no errors for the Bucks. Three, No runs on two hits, no errors for the Broncos. All right. The Expo's getting after it, hitting the snack bar. Yeah. How you doing, brother? Good. Say hi right here. Introduce yourself. What's up? My name's Aiden Robles. Play hey, Expos, man. Number three. You had a great game the other night. You're only 15. Is yeah. that right? Yep. Man, I, I think your dad's cool. Hey, what's the key to being confident defensively at the hot corner? Because you've got great feet, but what, to stay loose and confident down there, what's a the key? I just try to have fun every time. So yeah, yeah, man. Make every play. Make routine plays, that's it. Yeah, and you swung the bat well, too. Yep. Well, thanks for saying hi. Thank you. Hey, thank you. All right, man. Third baseman for Fairfield. Four for four. Hey, we got the other four for four. Four for four. Is that Carver? Yeah, that's Carver. Come on up, Carver. Carver, bro. Uh, you, you know, four for four, Carver. I think that's his license plate now, four for four. All right, runner at first with a single Hampton. They, they went out to the mound to talk to Brooks. They go to first, not in time. This is Kellen Harrison. The shortstop on deck is Luke Rezzo. Three nothing Bucks. Bottom of the second here in Bozeman. Nobody out. Hampton with a big lead at first, held over by Goodwin. Brooks from the belt, fastball in there, looking 0 and 1 on the right handed hitting. Kellen Harrison. I was in their clubhouse eating sushi when they walked in. He had a piece. No, Rezzo had a piece. Coach had a piece. I love sitting in the clubhouse and seeing the kids come in when the veterans are there. Man, 15 to 19, there's a big difference. You know, when I was 15, I was on a 16, and I was on a team with eight, a lot of 18 year olds, Rod Booker and uh, Alan Wiggins on that team, and Michael Dennis, Johnny Lynn. They, those four made it to the NFL and Major League Baseball, Lyle Breckenridge for the Twins. Curveball hit over the middle. The second baseman only played a first. So Harrison moves over. Hampton to second with one out. He'll bring up Luke Rizzo, 3 nothing Bucks. Yeah, I grew up in Pasadena, Cal Altadena, California, above in the mountains there. It's like Montana. But 
we played all our ball in Pasadena. And then at St. Francis High School, Jackie Robinson grew up in Pasadena and played at John Muir where my dad went. Runner at second, Hampton, one out. Here's Luke Rizzo, the leadoff batter, the third baseman of the Bucks. Takes a fastball in the dirt. Good play by Sandoval. Yeah, Robles and Carver for Fairfield the other night. They both went 4-4 four to four in the win over the Bucks. Last night, the Bucks beat Idaho Falls in a rain-shortened game. I mean, the whole infield was flooded. A 10-minute just, I mean, it was raining Chevys and Fords and GMCs. Big trucks. 1-0 pitch. Swung on. Ground ball to first. He gloves it. Goes to the bag for the second out. Down to third goes Hampton. So Rizzo hit it right to good one to bring up Logan, Logan Palethorpe. He was hit by a pitch and scored. 3 nothing. Bucks. Hey, how you doing? I'm Mark. I met you before. Yeah. Good to see you. Either seat. Help yourself. The Bozeman Daily Chronicles here. There's Pale Thor, Brunner at third, breaking ball strike, 0 1, 3 0 Bucks. Read all about it in the Daily Chronicle here in Bozeman, man. Pale Thor, elbow high, bat high, curve ball high, but a ball, 1 and 1, 3 0 Bucks. Bryce Hampton led off the bottom of the second with a single, then a sacrifice and a ground out to first, and Pale Thor. Been hitting doubles, curveball away, two and one. I'm going to set that interview up for you coming up here. He showed me how to do it on memos, voice memos. Curveball strike evens the count at two and two. I got a 13 year old teaching me my phone. People are like, Your phone is full. I don't know. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Fastball popped up, foul ground, third base side. Here comes Steidley, runs out of room. He runs out of room. And a kid, a little ligger with his glove and uniform on that was introduced before the game, gets the ball. Now he gets goes to the concession stand. Get a burger. Get yourself a burger. Yeah, get another one. Into the windup. Curveball hit down to third. Knocked down. A run will score. Everybody's safe. And to his left, Steidley. I don't know if that's an infield single. He hit it pretty hard, and it ricocheted off his glove. It might be a hit. It was hit hard. 4 nothing. Bucks. So Hampton scores. And Palethorpe down at first. Yeah, that's an infield single. That was a shot to the left of Steidley. He knocked it down, kept it in the infield. Four nothing bucks, bottom of the second. Vegan's up. Here's Jake. He had a single and scored. Curveball whacked down into right field. Vegan, another hit. And whoa, Palethorpe rounds the bag. They almost had him. They go to first and they got the runner. No, he dropped the ball. They could have had <laughs> they could have had Palethorpe, the right fielder, through. To the second baseman, he could have gone to shorter first. He went to first, and they had Vegan picked off going back to the bag, but he knocked the ball out of the Nate Goodwin legally. I don't know what happened, but here is Tooch. Tooch had an RBI single, left-handed hitter, 4 nothing bucks. Foot runners at first and second, Max Matucci. Curveball whacked down the line foul right down the first baseline. The Tooch, he told me what he got in, on his SAT. It's more than double what I got. I'll just leave it at that. Of course, I was drunk. You know, I mean, what are you going to do? No, I wasn't. 0 oh, 1. Fastball outside. <laughs> Why would I say that? Tooch's SAT, the test you take, double mine. But I, I was out late that we had played John Muir in basketball the night before, and you know how that goes. I was 18, if that means anything. What I like about baseball, you got to come home at night eventually because you got a game the next day. Tooch is ready. He could swing it. They play him deep and right to pull. The wind going third to first. Brooks, fastball hit. Knocked down by the pitcher. He picks it up, underhands to first for the third out. 
Boy, Tooch hit it hard, but right at the pitcher who knocked it down. The Bucks get one, and they lead it by the score of four to nothing. Let me get this Palethorpe interview. I, I'm not sure how to do this. You go to voice voice memos. It's an app. Do you know what an app is? Yeah. Can you hit that? Edit. When you say pretty even keeled, yeah, I try, here's, I try here's to be, especially since it's just a game. And the point is to have fun. Like I'm with with some of my friends that I've known since I was little, and and I'm out here making memories. So I mean, might as well make the best of it, you know. You see all these little kids look up to you. It's crazy. They come out here, these 8- to 12-year-old kids, and, man, they want to be a buck someday. You remember that feeling? Oh, yeah. It's cool because they, they know you out in the community. Like, I go out. Yeah, I went out to get ice cream the other day, and some kid came out to me and was talking to me about how many home runs I've been hitting, and it's pretty cool about that because, I mean, I don't know. I feel like I, I'm a role model for some of these kids, so it's pretty cool. It's a cool feeling. Yeah, wait till you sign your first autograph, man. <laughs> what do you like to do when you're away from the boys and away from the game? Uh, what do you do to decompress or kind of unwind? Because the, I think what you've learned over the years, you got to enjoy the grind. You played football, so you, you enjoy the grind. But what do you do away from the grind? Um, one thing that helps me is I, I like to listen to music. Music's a big part of my life, and I feel like that really helps me relax and unwind. and. Nice. And just feel like everything I do, no matter what I'm doing, whether I'm just hanging out with friends, playing a game, or just sitting by myself, I feel like there's always music in the background. So it's kind of kind of a nice way to. Well, there's Logan Palethorpe, a nice way to unwind. But he is a gentleman. I thank him for joining me. Colton Pools here. Welcome, welcome. Trying to figure this out. I, I think it's running. Yeah, it's running. I don't know. I mean, what do I know? Here comes a fastball, almost grazed the hitter right there, Boston Ross. Now, there's a good baseball name, Boston Ross. Come on now. Hey. You ever want to change your name, strike in there, one and one on Ross. Four nothing bucks, four runs on seven hits, no errors. Top of the third, no runs, two hits, no errors for the Broncos. Ground ball foul, look out. Good crowd on hand, sunny, little breeze. Last night, everybody came under the gondola here in front of the press box, the roof. I mean, it was coming down, and then puddles in the parking lot. I'm wearing loafers. Fastball fouled away. But I treated the loafers, but they're not waterproof. I mean, these aren't the best shoes for last night. Uh, let me just say that. Yeah. Colton Poole agrees. Fastball away to the left hand hitting Boston Ross. 2 2. In the first, Wilson singled and was stranded. Stidley singled and stranded last inning. So they've had a couple hits. Higgs, a 19 year old college pitcher for Jamestown, into the windup. Fastball away, count is full. I don't know if Sage McMinn's uh, grandparents are listening, but you are. We're sending love. We miss you in person. I always think we should get cardboard cutouts of the people we miss. Fastball low. He walked them. Lead off walk. Top of the third from Higgs to Ross. Brings up the leadoff batter. Ben Wilson singled the lead off the game. Well, they've been putting them in stadiums. I want to get one of my dad. Put it in the kitchen. Life size. Right-handed hitting center fielder, Wilson. Nobody out. Leadoff batter on. Ross will keep an eye on him. Third baseman, Rizzo, on the grass. Tooch holding on at first. Shallow in the outfield, deep and short. Breaking ball in there, lugging 0-1. Good curveball from Higgs. Wind glow wind's going third to first. So for a right-hander with the curve, wind helping at this point, the American flag. Beautiful stars and stripes. Montana voted the most patriotic state, whatever that means. Uh, number one, curveball, whack to left. Could be trouble. Coleman on the run. Will he get there? He dives. He makes a rolling catch and fires it in. And that is a major league play. Ben Wilson tips his hat. Coleman, major league play. 
the wind is pushing it back towards him, but it was a liner down the line. He had to run about 25 yards. He dove, stretched out, he rolled, and that is a long out. That was a run waiting to happen. The wind coming third to first, though, a downward, it, it helped him in a sense because that, that had double written all over it. Fastball low, 1-0, but Ben Wilson, hardest hit ball of the game, lines out to left field, a diving catch, major league play. Doesn't get any better. Just a teenager. Hey, hello. Martinez at 1-1, one and one, swung on and fouled away. One good pitch there by Higgs. Avion grounded out to short. One ball, one strike, one out, one on. The Aces are wild. Reno's in town. Good to have Reno here. Reno Knights. Wind picking up. One and one on the batter. Higgs from the belt. Fastball. Low and away. Two and one on Avian Martinez. Tyler Vance on deck. So the Bucks lead it four to nothing. We're in the top of the third. One out. One on for Idaho. Blackfoot Broncos. Blackfoot. Fastball grounded to third, down the line, backhanded, long throw by Rizzo, gets him. So Rizzo goes to the line on a high chopper. 5-3 on Martinez, down to second, Ross. And here is Tyler Vance. Shortstop. Right-handed hitter, number 10. Four nothing bucks. Well, every inning, Idaho set somebody on Blackfoot. They love it down there. I've been down there. I'm going down there fishing soon. Curveball whacked down the line foul. Third base. Boy, Coleman saved a run. I mean, Ben Wilson hit a liner, a shot, pelted it. He pelted it. A seed, a frozen rope. Tyler Vance at the plate trying to get the Broncos on the board in the top of the third. Two outs trailing 4 nothing to Bozeman. Higgs checks the runner. Fastball line to left. At Coleman might be trouble. It's over his head. He spins it. He catches it. He turned to his right. The wind knocked it back to his left. He turned 180, leapt up and caught it. So Coleman single-handedly with the wind and the glove. My goodness, and that empties the Bucks out of the dugout. Coleman's got a smile from Albuquerque to here. Look at that smile. I mean, the dive was one thing, but this was a shot right off, right at him from Tyler Vance. Another double. And he turned to his, what did he do? He turned to his right like a receiver, but then the wind knocked it back, turned to his left, reach up. That had triple written all over it. So Coleman with two catches, saves two hits, two runs, and the Bucks lead as we go to the bottom of the third, four to nothing. Pretty good catch right there. Giddy up. <clears throat> we go to the bottom of the third inning, brought to you by the Ribbon Chop House. I like going in for appetizers. I like I like chips and salsa, no doubt. Who doesn't? I like the fried green tomatoes. Have you, Colton? Have you had the fried green tomatoes at uh, Ribbon Chop? Yeah, they got cream cheese and crab. I mean, come on, that is a diet for you and me. Come on, brother, let's fatten up for winter. He's nodding, yes, he's in. If you live in Montana, where I live, we had 70 below wind chill. I went off the road after a basketball game in November, but if you eat those fried green tomatoes, they'll, they'll keep you warm. Red Hayes, Andrew Western, and Dylan Coleman to face Peyton Brooks, the right-hander for the Blackfoot. Broncos is we're in the bottom of the third. Bozeman, four runs on seven hits, no errors, no runs, two hits, no errors for the visiting Blackfoot, Idaho Broncos. And here's Hayes, right-handed pitcher, right-handed hitter. Fastball popped up, and the wind will push it foul. Sandoval gave it a look. 
Sandoval could get a, a shampoo commercial. His hair, he just took off his mask. He, he looks like Troy Polamalu hair. Bottom of the third, leadoff batter Red Hayes. He's heading to Jamestown. Curveball looks good, low, one and one. Baton Brooks has only given up seven hits, but they're, they're all singles. The singles club. One and one on Hayes. Breaking ball, slow curve, swung on a miss, strike two. A lot of kids here tonight in their uniforms with their gloves. A lot of grandparents, great-grandparents, a couple new babies. Fastball fouled out of play. <coughs> My earliest memory of Dodger Stadium was when I was five and 64. Yeah. Don't remember much before 64. Fastball line to right. This could be trouble. This boy is going to be trouble. Hayes will round it into the gap to the wall. Hayes is going to round second and hold with a leadoff double, and he leads the team in doubles. There's Red Hayes. He reached out for a high fastball, and they, he's been working on that with Tooch. And I mean, Andrew Western had a double last night, but this was a one that split Wilson and Niffin in center and right. And Hayes is at second for nothing bucks. Boy, all the way to the billion dollar sign out there. Curveball low to Andrew Western, the switch hitting catcher batting left against the right hander. Coleman's on deck, made two hit run saving catches in the wind. It's like catching, trying to catch a butterfly with chop stiff sticks. 1-0. Fastball outside 2-0 to Western. So Hayes takes a high fastball and drives it all the way to the wall in right center. Good relay from Niffin to the second baseman Ross. That's one thing they work on. Everybody hit the cutoff. Fastball in there. 2-1 to Western looking. Well, the thing is, if you don't hit the cutoff, man, most likely Hayes is at third. Nobody out. Red Hayes leads the team in doubles at second. Andrew Western's up. Four nothing bucks, bottom of the third. Fastball misses three and one from Peyton Brooks, the right hander. Micah Sandoval catching. Ryan Steadley at third. Taylor Vance at short. Boston Ross at second. Nate Goodwin at first. Martinez, Wilson, and Niffin left to right in the outfield. Fastball outside, and he's walked them. So a double by Hayes, a walk by Western. Here's Dylan Coleman had an RBI single and two just fabulous catches. Sterling, platinum, palladium. I mean, took two runs and two hits. But you don't know if it's more than two runs because they were outs. I'm not psychic, Colton. I'm not. I, I play Johnny Wishbone on a TV show from Venice Beach, but I'm really not a psychic. Johnny Wishbone. Here's Coleman. Dylan swings and drives one to center. Away back goes the center fielder, and he'll run it down in the gap. Oh, Wilson ran a good 40 as that ball was up in the wind stream. Drive to right center, and the wind pushing it. And Wilson runs it down. Great play in center by Ben Wilson down to third with one out. Hayes, Western at first to bring up Bryce Hampton, who singled and scored. Boy, deep. These outfielders can run for Idaho. Famous potatoes and great baseball players. Idaho. Here's Bryce Hampton, the redhead. First and third for the Bucks. Bottom of the third, one out. They lead it four to nothing. There's a bunt, and they got the runner at third. They throw not in time. Hayes came down the line, and Hampton bunted, didn't get it. I think it's a strike, yeah. And Hayes was about 20 feet off the bag. The catcher looked first first, but then he gunned to third, but Hayes dove in. But if he looks to third first and not first third or second, whatever I'm saying, who's on first? That's uh, Western. One ball, one out, first and third, four nothing bucks, bottom of the third. Curveball hit down to third. That's foul. <laughs> if you think about it long enough, Abba, is that, well, it was Abbott Costello, right? 
first and who's on first. Can you imagine living with those guys? Pass the butter, pass the, you know, I mean, it could just turn into a skit. All I ask you to do is pass the salt. The 1-1. One, one. Curveball popped up. Shallow right. Wins. Got it. Niffin out there. Runner tagging at third. He catches. Hits the cutoff, man, for the second out. Good play by Niffin. And here is Kellen Harrison out of sacrifice. So Peyton Brooks trying to get out of a double walk to start the inning. Runners at first and third. He got two deep flies, or one deep, one shallow. And here's Harrison. Kellen, the shortstop, 15 years old, can't even drive. Well, may, I, I was driving at 12. My parents didn't know it. Who did? Two outs, curveball, checked it, strike called, 0-1 on Kellen Harrison. He's got his pants up, his black, white, and red socks. 4 nothing Bucks. bottom of the... Third inning here at Heroes Park in Bozeman, and the sh the sunset on the mountains is absolutely gorgeous. Fastball in the dirt, runner to second. That's Armstrong running. Yeah, we got the M. They got the big M up there for Montana State uh, in right center up on the Bridger Mountains. They built a little town here. It's called Cannery Row. It's actually kind of nice to have a little town around the park. Gives a little Wrigley feel. Fastball outside, two and one. Armstrong running. Mike running for Western. Hayes led off with a double, a walk by Western. Two outs. Runners at second and third for the Bucks. Bottom of the third. Hometown team, four nothing. Curveball whacked to right. This will probably be trouble. It's foul. And the wind pushed it. Harrison. Dug on it. He wanted that. He drove it deep down the right field line. Niffin got a good jump. He might have had triple on his mind. It's an old Glenn Campbell song. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on. And we'll do it again. Peyton Brooks pitching to Kellen Harrison. Fastball swung on a miss. That'll do it. They strand two. We play three. Bozeman four. And the Blackfoot Idaho Broncos haven't scored. We hope you'll support the Ribbon Chop House. Well, hello there. Oh, come on in. Man, what a treat. Have a seat, Mr. Matucci. Let me see which one this is hooked up to. Let me see here. This is coming around here. Here. Huh. I can't follow it. Oh, here it is. Well, I'm going to turn them all up. Let's see. There you go. All right. Well, it is a pleasure to meet you. I love your son. And Mr. Matucci's with us. Your first name? Paul. Man, Paul, do you know how much we love your son? Some days probably more than, than we do because <laughs> when we have to clean his room, you know? Yeah. Well, it's great to have you here. How's your uh, experience been in uh, with Bozeman Bucks baseball so far with your son, Max Matucci? Um, I can't tell you. You know, spending, you know, he missed his sophomore and junior seasons because of COVID in California. Nobody's Bur playing. Up in Burlingame. That's right. We've been here. We've had a place in Galaxy yeah. Bay for, for 23 years. But yeah. finally, um, in August, the school told us that they were going to do distance learning. And Come on in. Slide up. And we figured, well, if they're going to do distance learning anyway, from no. bit, we might as well just come to Bozeman for good. We're glad you did. Uh, Welcome. So are we. We had a great winter here. Uh, wasn't it fun? Do you uh, ski? I do not. You do not. Mm -mm. I understand. Well, here's Peyton Brooks, the pitcher, takes a fastball from Brady Higgs outside. One and a, your son's down at first base, but what I, I love everything about him. I get to travel on the bus, so we have great conversations. We record a lot of them. Fastball inside, 2-0, oh, but uh, how old is Max? Max is almost 18. He's 20, 17 years old to be 18 in July. I call him the Babe Ruth of Bozeman. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. 
Well, you know how Babe is. Fastball line to right. Vegan yeah. going back, going back, spinning. It's trouble. It's over his head. It'll be two for sure. And Peyton Brooks, uh, the wind's going third to first, and it was a liner right at him. He turned right, went left. Either way he went, it was going to be a double all the way. Well, your son, he uh, he sure likes to swing that bat, doesn't he? He loves to hit. He does. He he loves it. I watch him out here. He's out here three hours early. He's in the cage all the time. All the time. For two years, that's all he could do is be in the cage all the time. A double by Brooks for the Broncos to lead it off. They trail 4 nothing. Mr. Matucci's with it. Left-handed hitter. Good one. Looks at a strike from Brady Higgs. 0-1. Now, my brother married a gal that grew up in Burlingame in Hillsboro. His dad, or her dad was the ran the money room at Bay Meadows and oh, Golden wow. Gate, uh, Mr. Spagnoli. Yep, yeah. up in your area there. 0-1 now on the lefty good one, the first baseman. He'll look at one low, one and one. What's your son want to be? I know he wants to play pro baseball, but any other dreams? Well, he wants to study economics next year. He's going, going on to college at McAllister. I've yeah. been there. I love he's yeah. going to McAllister. That's good school. Yep, it's not too yeah. far away. No? Is that is that Minnesota? No. St. No. Paul. St. Paul, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's great to have you and your son. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? Oh, my gosh. This, this is like a volume. Like Woody Hayes. Like yeah. Woody Hayes. Woody Allen would say this is a volume the size of a hockey puck. Right. This is mellow, isn't it? And this ballpark is so beautiful. Look at the mountains. I know. One ball, one strike on the lefty. Nobody out. Fastball high. Two and one. Did you? Were you? You? Max says you guys bonded a lot uh, watching Barry Bonds and the Giants at that gorgeous park. Yeah, his first game, he was three weeks old. I knew there was something special. I said you got to have genetic advantages from your dad. I mean, mm -hmm. three weeks at a Giants game. Come on, soak it in. Curveball, well, strike, looking two two. Even before he was born, when we'd go to the games. Put the radio up to the womb. Well, we'd go to the games, and Barry would come up to bat, and everybody starts screaming. Oh, I he, know. Standing and, ovations. And he'd start kicking. <laughs> Susan says he's kicking. Again. I love Barry Bonds. He was born in Riverside. His yeah. dad, Bobby, from Riverside, just a great guy. And a fastball whacked down the first baseline. There's Tooch off the glove, behind the bag. And the second hop. Popped up on him, and uh, he knocked it down, but kind of a finicky hop right there for your son at first. Yeah, you get him. Yeah. It, boy, he was in good position, but that that's just a timing play. How much do you move your glove? Right. And that it just – the wind, it's funny. You talk to kids about the wind. It moves, it moves the ball right. just enough, just like that, but it happens. So first and third for Ryan Steidley. He had an infield single. No runs yet for the Broncos, but they've got two out. Nobody out top of the fourth. Breaking ball strike looking 0 one Well, I have a lot of respect for Bobby Bonds. His first, he had a grand slam in his first game against the Dodgers in Candlestick, and there's only been two players in the wow. history of Major League Baseball to hit a grand slam, and he was also five-time 30-30, as you know. Yeah, runner good. goes. There's the hit and run. It'll be a single to right to score run. The runner goes to third, and I mean a seeing-eye ground ball by the second baseman, Hampton to his left into right. Ross couldn't get it, but you couldn't have walked it out there better. Steidley with an RBI single. Perfectly played, and now it's four to one bucks. That was well executed. That was well executed, yeah. And the runner goes first to third, so an RBI single to bring up Sandoval, the catcher, Micah. Well, I have a lot of respect for Barry. I uh, I didn't know him, but Ned Coletti got to know Ned sure. when he came to the Dodgers. He was the assistant general manager there. So I mean, I nobody put more people on the TV or in McCovey Cove or at the stadium. What a show. I mean, you got yeah. to see how many times you see Barry Bonds play in person? Oh, hundreds. We, we had yeah. some season tickets for a decade. and I mean, going from Candlestick yeah. to McCovey Cove, I mean, it was like going from, you know, where to heaven. Exactly. The wind. There goes the runner. He's back in the dirt, blocked by West. I mean, Candlestick was fun, but not nothing like, no. what do they call the park? AT&T or what do they call it? I don't, I don't know. know. It changes every three or four years, depending on who's the important phone company. <laughs> Yeah, phone. I finally bought one. Uh, oh, man. You know how that goes. Uh, you can't get a hold of me, though. I live in the mountains. First and third for the Broncos. The batter is Sandoval. Fastball popped up. Second baseman on the dirt. 
And they might get a double play, but nope, they don't. But so a pop-up that goes F4 to Hampton if you're scoring at home. We hope you are. And here's Cooper Nevin, the right fielder. First and third, one run in for the Broncos. They trail it here at the top of the fourth. Max Matucci's dad is with us. And, uh, man, it's so nice to meet you. Thank you. Uh, me too. You know, Max graduated from high school about uh, three weeks ago. It's the same high school that Barry Bonds graduated from. And Tom Brady, right? And Tom Brady. and Sarah. We, they yeah. call it Unipa or, or just Sarah? Just Sarah. Yeah, yeah I know uh, Sarah up there near. Uh, San Mateo. Yeah, I've, I've done games. There's a bunt down the third base line. This could be trouble. It is. It's a single in the dirt. Tooch knocks it down. And the runners are all safe. And another run in on a bunt. But. Your son just saved a run. See how soft his hands are? He must be yeah. good around the dinner table. Yeah. Aren't they all? Oh, God. I love your son. You know, he's he's like me. He's in his own world, and it's a good world, isn't it? Yep. He has a good, good attitude. Good attitude towards life. I uh, love the kid. So Lynn Swan went to that high school, too. Yeah, Lynn. I got to meet Lynn, you know, not much, but yeah. just, you know, he's doing his thing, too. He was doing television. Played at SC, so, right. you know, we went. Here's Boston Ross now. Tying runs are on. Four to two Bozeman leads. Top of the fourth. Idaho's up from Blackfoot. Brady Higgs is on the mound. He's given up six hits now. So Idaho coming back like we knew they would. And Higgs stalling. Stalling. Goes to first. Yeah, your son. I love when your son is here early. He'll come over. And he'll always say, how are you feeling, Miller? And I said, I'm at the park. He goes, and he goes, yeah, we're at the park. And then he goes and hits. That's about it. But I've had some good conversations that's on the good. buses. Yeah. 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 And, and you've, you've taped a few of them, and that's been great for us to send them. We sent them on to the oh, yeah. to his grandpa. And you got to keep the, get to hear you got to share the love of baseball, right? Absolutely. If you love baseball, it will always love your brat back. It will break your heart, but that's okay. There's always another game. The yeah. thing about here, and I've been coming here for years. It's a great place to watch a game. You're so close. Yeah. It's a beautiful ballpark. But McCovey Cove, how about when Bonds hit all those in and the people out there swimming, kayaking, netting? Dogs. Dogs. <laughs> people living out there in yeah. their houseboats. It's a pretty amazing thing. Fastball swung on and missed to Ross up and in. Didn't get it. Good cut, good pitch. The thing about McCovey Cove, Willie was the, really the first San Francisco homegrown star for the Giants. So nice to have the Cove named after him. Yeah. I love Stretch. Yeah, they had him and Cepeda on the same team. They couldn't figure out which one of them to play. The baby bull. 0-1 oh, on the batter. He's going to bunt. Let's it go. Rizzo was charging. Two stand at first. We're in the top of the fourth with one out. Runners at first and third for Blackfoot, Idaho. They trail 4-2. to two. And at the plate, their second baseman wears number four and plays the four position, and that is Boston. That's a nine. Excuse me. Okay. I read that wrong, and that'll happen again. Oh, two. Little oh, protected. Hey, your son's been going the other way. Finally. I mean, he's Finally. a dead pull. You can't be a dead pull hitter. Look what's happened to Bryce Harper in the bigs. But. He drove one in Missoula. I don't know. I mean, it was a shot, but he's going the other way now. What do you think? So that was that was his um, that was his little zone before before he came before COVID. That's he was always an opposite field hitter. There's a foul. So, so he became a pull hitter when he came to Montana. Yeah, I he, didn't know that. You know, you know, he, he got bigger. His body changed, and he's in good shape, man. I he, um, I watch. Well, you know, Babe Ruth shape. And we'll leave him. He's the Babe Ruth of Bozeman. Just look at him down there. He's lovable. I I, I want to market him. Feel free. Oh, man. I, <laughs> I marketed my brothers. There's yeah. a story there. Oh, they got him picked. Ooh, nope. Almost. Tooch got his glasses on. The whole field's in shade now, and that helps him at first. Four to two bucks leading with one out top of the fourth. But Idaho has runners at the corners. And – Boston Ross at the plate trying to get more. They got two and a hit and run and a high fastball. He just protected the runner. The one thing about San Francisco, it's so great now that they've won three World Series because when they came out, everybody was waiting and waiting. 62 there in the World Series, 89 uh, in the World Series. And finally, they win three, and now they got the best team in baseball. Yeah, it's Who would have thought? 
Yeah, it's crazy. You know, I waited 50 years for the first 50. World Series. 50. I know. And Max. We, we thought about that. We go, we go, people talk about the Indians <clears throat> and the Cubs. What about the Giants fans since, since fifth, well, 58? And then Max thinks they win every other year. Uh, yeah, even years, right? Yeah, or, exactly. uh, I don't know. Fastball low. Runner goes. Second and third now. Talking with Mr. Matucci. How far is uh, Burlingame from uh, the park, the, the Giants Park? It's about a 20-minute drive. Because yeah. uh, I've done games at Notre Dame. That's in San Mateo, right? Yeah. So yeah, that's another, basketball. That's another 10 minutes farther. That's all. That's a neat area. Oh, man. It's a beautiful area. <laughs> it is. Here's Boston Ross now. The tying run at second. Two balls, two strikes, one out, four two bucks. And Blackfoot coming back. They get a chance to tie it on this pitch. And a line drive to left. Coleman can't get it. He waits for it. He got in no man's land. So a sinking liner and a base hit single for Boston Ross, an RBI. And it's now four to three. And, uh, man, that was a nice little sinking wow. liner. I thought he, I thought he would, would be able to come in on it, but it, it dropped quickly. In the wind. See, it's a downdraft. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Look at that flag. Well, I, I got to know Mike Kruko well, did his son's games at Cal Poly and Summer Ball, and he was a sponsor and things like that right. at some restaurants. But, uh, yeah, Kruk, I went in one day to his office. I called him, of course. I'm so organized, mm -hmm. as you know, Max will tell you. I said, man, I need I need three hours of tape with you because I got double headers. I got to have something sure. to fill. So he gave me three hours that I used the whole season, just Mike Kruko and myself, Cal Poly graduate, like yep. your, your wife graduated. My wife yeah. graduated from Cal Poly. Yeah, that, I didn't graduate. I left to go to Mexico <clears throat> and surf. I think I made that clear to the kids. Um, that's what I did. I got injured playing football, lost my baseball. So I went to surf, and then I got into this. But, you know, the thing about San Francisco, people people that haven't experienced the city, what are they missing? I mean, the food, Skomas. You ever go to Skomas? I have gone to Skomas. My dad took me there for my first Chipino. You know, Ty Cobb and Joe DiMaggio, Ty Cobb was Joe DiMaggio's agent, and they met there, and Ty Cobb got him $2,000 more in the 30s to sign with the Yankees. Wow. Ty Cobb was the first. There's a bunt. It's going to be a base hit, maybe. Tooch has it. Underhand to the pitcher. Not in time. Ooh. A bunt single. Tooch did everything. <coughs> Max Matucci to Higgs. The run will score on a bunt single up the first base line. Beautiful bunt by Ben Wilson here in the top of the fourth, and we're tied at four. What a great bunt. And yeah. your son played. Could, he played it softly. Yeah, he did. As did the pitcher play. play yeah, good well. timing. Yeah. yeah. So an RBI bunt single, and we're tied at four. Runners at first and second. We got a great old fashioned Dodger Giant game. Mm. You know, the classy thing about the Giants, Vin Scully's last game broadcast, he was at, at the Giants. Willie Mays came up, they gave him a plaque. Isn't that something? His last game in San Francisco couldn't have been sweeter. It, it's just the, the history there is just unbelievable. Those ball and players. ground ball to third, and Rizzo loads it up, throws them out. Good stretch by Tooch. So second and third with two outs, and Avion Martinez grounded it to third twice and short. He's hitting it well to bring up Tyler Vance, and that's where Coleman robbed him of a hit in an RBI last inning. That was with some catch out in left field. Major league play. We're seeing teenagers make major league plays, and they'll walk them intentionally. The bases are loaded. So bases loaded, two outs, top of the fourth, and the Blackfoot Broncos from Idaho have tied it. And both teams with eight hits. So Brady Higgs is saying, who woke up the bats? Serrano from, Serrano from Major League came in with his tricks. Yeah. <laughs> Beads, well, his beads and his, his beads. Oh. Fastball misses low and away. And uh, this is Peyton Brooks, the pitcher. He doubled to start the inning, so up twice. Bases are loaded, tied at four, two outs. Higgs from the belt. He hits Ooh. them, and now it's 5 4. And Vance gets an RBI down at first. Ross scores down to third is Wilson with that great bun RBI single. I think I'm a jinx here. <laughs> I've been there, brother. I've, oh, I've been there. I'll, I'll take it for you. I'll take it. 
Hit by pitch RBI. And here's Peyton. No, that was, was that Peyton Brooks? I can't. Yeah, that was, here's Nate Good, Goodwin. Takes a fastball for a strike. So an RBI the hard way. You know, one of my favorite players from Altadena played third base for the Giants was Daryl Evans. Remember Daryl? Oh, man. 40, he, number 41. He could, yeah. He played. He was on that team with Henry when Henry, uh, they, the record? yeah, he was waiting at home plate with Henry, yes. Henry's mom when uh, he broke the Babes record there at Fulton County at 913 and on uh, April 8th. Here's a ground ball to Tooch to his right, goes into the dirt, underhands to Higgs, and that'll do it. And so in the inning, they get four, excuse me, five. Oh, the score is now 5-4 as we go to the bottom of the fourth. And Blackfoot has taken the lead. Um, yeah, my some of my fondest memories with Daryl, he, he grew up around the corner from us in Altadena there by Pasadena. I mean, Daryl at 15 at Jackie Robinson Field, what it's called now, was hitting home runs out of a park this big. Yeah. Like your son, I mean, he could swing it. He was eleven. He had four hundred and fourteen home runs in the bigs. But I mean, you got to see Willie Mays. I did. I was spoiled. I used to think that every and, team had to have Willie Mays, Juan Marichal, Gaylord Perry, Willie McCovey, Dick Dietz. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Look at all the Hall of Famers. I mean, Marichal, McCovey, Mays, Cepeda, Perry, Perry, Gaylord. He's the first pitcher to win Cy Youngs in either league. Right. Where'd you like sitting watching the Giants game? Where do you where do you guys like to sit? Third base. Oh, perfect. Yeah. yeah, I like. You know what? I like third base the best too. You know, that's where we used to sit at Dodger Stadium. You ever been to Dodger Stadium? I have many times. Isn't that isn't that pretty? It is pretty. It's it's kind of uh, busy down there, as they say, but it's pretty. I grew up twelve miles from there. Well, here we go, fans. It's five to four. The Blackfoot Idaho Broncos leading the hometown Bucks. Max Matucci, the player for the Bucks, his dad's with us. And thanks to the Ribbon Chop, thanks to everybody at Kenyon Noble, Harvest Solar, the Bozeman Daily Chronicle, and Albertson Safeway. As we go to the bottom of the fourth inning, Peyton Brooks says, thanks for the five, boys. I feel better. Hey, your son pitched this year. Did oh you God. see that? I can't even listen. Oh, <laughs> I, and I, I, I'm, I, I'm just trying not to wet myself. Yeah. I'm telling you, he's throwing about sixty. He never pitched. No, and i But the great thing about it, he's out there like. I mean, he's all serious. Yeah, no. I love it. Oh, it's hysterical. Uh, yeah, it's pretty funny. It was. Well, here is Luke Rizzo to lead <laughs> things off, trailing by one now, Bucks, bottom of the fourth, and a fastball, a little low, one and zero. Oh. Peyton Brooks. Five runs, eight hits, no errors for the Broncos. Four runs, eight hits, two errors for the hometown Bucks. Here tomorrow night at seven, and finish up Sunday. Fastball away. I knew Doug Greenwald. Um, well, Hank's son, Doug. Yeah. I did some games with him up in Oregon, but you listened to him. Sure did. Sure I did. loved his joke when they had the three Alou brothers. He said there was actually four. Don't forget Boog, <laughs> Maddie, Philippe, Jose, or uh, Jesus. Jesus, and yeah. Boogaloo. But uh, remember, all three of them played in a game together played in the early outfield. '60s. Outfield, three, three brothers, brothers never happened. They were pretty amazing players too. Yeah. The trouble is, we had, we had to face uh, Giants had to face uh, Koufax. Koufax, Drysdale, and uh, and Osteen and, and Claude Osteen and, all and those Padres. Years. Padres was still there in the 50s. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. And here's a curveball whacked to center. Here comes Wilson on the run. It could be trouble. It is. It's over his head. Digging for second is Rizzo. He might go for three. Nope, they they do the cutoff well. So a leadoff double for Luke Rizzo for the Bucks here in the bottom of the fourth. And the Bucks trail by one, but they have the tying run on. He's come a long way with his swing. Mm -hmm. He's a lot more relaxed. Yeah. And he lifted that one. His dad will be happy. Here's Logan Palethorpe, one for one with an RBI single and a run scored. The center fielder for the Bucks, Wind blowing third to first. Tying run at second for the Bucks. We're in the bottom of the fourth here in Bozeman. Sun is down. The mountain's got a little bit of shade. Curveball oh, whacked right through right the wickets. The oh and the shortstop picks it, throws behind the bag. The run will score on the high throw. And a oh. tough break for the shortstop, but that went right through the legs of the pitcher. The shortstop behind the bag threw high, and we're tied at five on the throw, but right through the wickets. It was hit so hard, he didn't have a time, chance to get his glove down. Right through his legs. So down to second on the throw, 
and an RBI for Hailthorpe to bring up Jake Vegan, the right fielder. We're tied at five. Go ahead, run at second. That'll be an error on the throw. I do think an infield single because he, yeah, it is. Okay, would have beat it out. So here's Vegan, two for two, run scored, and an RBI. They go to second. They got him picked off. They got him. And a great wheel to his right. You rarely see a right-hander turn to his right, shortstop covering, and they pick off Logan Palethorpe. That goes 1-6, and good timing, wasn't it? He, yeah. he just got – he boy, he got stuck, didn't he? The runner yeah. – you, you know how if you hesitate, what do they say? I don't know. Who's they? Fastball hit down to second. Ross has got it. Vegan hustling, and that will be the second out. So, think, good pickoff. I think it's he who hesitates He's, is lost. Yeah. I'm, and here comes Tooch. I like how he draws his customary cross. And here's your son. What do you, what do you think about when he comes to the plate? He – Look at him studying the pitcher. He, he did his cross. He steps in, touches the plate. He wags the bat, and want, now he's ready. I just wanted to take a pitch occasionally. <laughs> oh, watch this swing. No, he did. There you go. Okay. And that's not his pitch. No. He Sometimes he'll wave at those low outside curveballs. Okay, so they're pitching him away, 0-1 on the curveball to Max Matucci, the 0-1. Curveball whack. That's what you want to see yeah. down the line. He rounds the bag with a hard single, and that's kind of fun. You're on the radio when your son gets a hard single. Beautiful. That's exciting. Boy, and that's the thing is, he took that curveball and whacked it right down the line. That's what he practices on the tee, pulling through. Yeah. Boy, good play out there by Niffin to hold him to a single. So the Bucks have tied it. They got the go-ahead run on with Max Matucci. We like to call him Tooch. And his dad's with us. And here's Red Hayes, doubled last time up. Curveball, swung on a mess, strike one. So Brooks, he got in trouble with the curveball to Tooch because he's left-handed hitter. And now right-hand better. They, they, his grandfather nickname was Tooch. I love it. Yeah. I always, you know, I, I talk a lot about him. I, I, I kind of wonder. I just think he'd be a great restaurant owner in downtown San Francisco, Tooch's. Curveball, little roller to third. Here comes oh, yeah. Steidley. He throws on the run, and that'll do it. Good play. But the Bucks tie it. It's great to have uh, Mr. Matucci with us. Uh, great to be here. Thank you, know, you very I, much, sir. I think we'll get a restaurant. We'll call it Tucci's. Great idea. And, and he could just host, and it'll be fun. Great idea. All right. It'll be the best Chipino in Bozeman. Oh, you know what? I love Chipino. <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, Mr. Matucci, thank you so much. Boy, what a what a delight to have Max on. He hits a hard single down the line. And uh, let's see, Colton, you have time to come on, or you're working? Got a little bit of work to do, maybe. All right. Yeah, I just went to uh, Giant Stadium earlier this month. You went? Oh, how'd you like it? Beautiful. Yeah, man. I went. I've been there. I like it. I'm learning all this. I look like I know what I'm doing. Thank you. Well, read all about it. Colton Pool tomorrow online. Will it be in the paper, the actual paper paper? Sunday. I like holding the paper with coffee and a cigarette and my girlfriend and my dog. But I got to have the paper. Something about having a paper. I like holding a paper. Oh, it's nice of Mr. Matucci to come in. Yeah, they've had a place here for a long time down the road, but the great thing, they're here full time, and, and uh, Max is really loving playing ball. We go to the top half of the fifth inning from Blackfoot, Idaho, the Broncos and the Bozeman Bucks here at home tied. Five runs on 11 hits, two errors for the Bucks. Five runs on eight hits, one air for the Broncos. And we have really got a good flavor game. And who knows what the weather. They did not predict last night what happened, but who knows. Curveball high, I want to know. Is this uh, Steidley? I think so. Yeah. Here's Ryan, two for two with an RBI. Score to run. Yeah. Good third baseman. Tied at five. Man, the Broncos came back with five in the top of the fourth and uh, hitting the ball well. So we're all tied. Higgs into the windup. Fastball checked it. Got it. Strike two and one. 
Oh, man, it's nice. Giddy up. This is Ryan Steidley leading off. Fastball up and in. Swung on and missed. Strike two. 2-2 two -two as Brady Higgs came up and in. Oh, yeah. It looks good, but, you know, fastball away. Thing is, anything close to your eyes looks good, but it's hard to hit. Here comes Boston Bob's ice cream on the train. Our dear beloved announcer went to heaven last July 24th, but the train brings ice cream on the hour every hour because that's who Bob is. Three balls and two strikes on Ryan Steadley for the Broncos from Blackfoot, Idaho. Eggs takes a deep breath, the 3-2 pitch in the dirt. And the go-ahead run is on. The leadoff batter's on with a walk. They got the leadoff batter on in the first. They got the leadoff batter on in the fourth. And now they have him on in the fifth with a walk. And here is Micah Sandoval, the catcher. And the coach, we had a nice interview you heard in the pregame. I got more of Logan Palethorpe to bring to you, too. Well, here is Micah Sandoval. Brady Higgs out on the mound. Five runs, 11 hits, two errors for Bozeman. Five runs, eight hits, one error for the Broncos. Third baseman in, Rizzo. Tied at five, top of the fifth. Broncos are up. Higgs at the belt. Runner at first with a walk to lead off. Swung on a miss. Throw to first. Not in time. A little hit and run. That was a true hit and run. His secondary lead, he stopped, waited for the batter to swing, but it wasn't a hittable pitch, a breaking ball low and away, but he tried to protect. And that's a that's a team player at the plate right there, swinging at a pitch like that. Boy, trying to protect your runner. The little things. Higgs at the belt, checks the runner. Go ahead, runs on. Breaking ball. Strike two. Well, the last curveball was outside about a foot further than that, and that one dropped in low and away. So Sandoval is saying two curves in a row. Will he go three? Look, curve, adjust fastball, or maybe vice versa. 0-2 on Sandoval. Fastball swung on and fouled away. Thing is, nobody's throwing 95 in American Legion. You can catch up to the fastball. You get up into college and the pros, oh, man, everybody's throwing 95. 0-2 oh, on the batter, Micah Sandoval. Leadoff batter's on, tied at five. Taking a good lead is Steidley. Steidley. Curveball hit down to short. High hop. Harrison goes to the bag for one. On to first. Double stretch play by Tooch. Oh, man, a good turn by Hampton. Hard slide by Steidley, so that goes 6 4 3 on the double. Two 15 year olds turning it. Harrison and Hampton, 6 4 3, and Tooch with a great stretch to get the hustling Sandoval, who had a wonderful at bat. And that'll bring up Cooper Niffin, had an RBI bunt single. Fastball swung on him, missed strike one. High heat, high heat. There's Cannon Schultz down there, number six, Bozeman out of uniform. He's got black face on. Looks like he's been under their car, curveball. Huh? I mean, it looks like grease. You know, the, the black stuff you put on your face to, for the shade, the glare. Son, the, sh the, the sun's gone down there, Cannon, but you look good, man. I'm, I'm telling you, way to walk around with that on. Curveball whacked high. First baseman Matucci calls for it on the dirt. Now the second baseman says, I got it, and Tooch backs up. Well, we are tied at five. We go to the bottom of the fifth right here on KGVM. Boy, great to have Tooch's dad up here. I can see why Tooch is so lovable as dad is. Thing is, if you go to the ballpark as much as Tooch and his dad did, I mean, my dad and I got along better at the ballpark than anywhere. I mean, first of all, you're in public, so I, I, I probably was acting better. I don't know. My dad, though, we had a big chart with nine kids in Monday through Sunday, and then all your chores. My, my chores were mopping the kitchen, bathroom floors, and vacuuming floors in the house every day. So if we got 100%, everybody, he'd take us on a little trip to Dodger Stadium. And then... <laughs> I tell you what, if you're in LA, Colton, go down to Felipe's in Chinatown. 
They got a shuttle you could ride up to Dodger Stadium, but they got the best French dip sandwich. You like French dip with the hard roll? Oh, yeah, brother. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Since 1921, I think, Felipe's in Chinatown. Well, we're in the bottom of the fifth inning. The Bucks from Bozeman and the Broncos from Blackfoot, Idaho. And Peyton Brooks, the right-hander, has gone all the way for – the Broncos in white pants, black jerseys, black hats. Bucks in their gray pants, gray jerseys, red socks striped with black and white. And the red numbers, Bozeman on the front in black. Well, here's Andrew Western, the catcher. He's got an RBI. He's 0 for 1, doing a nice job catching Higgs. And he bunts, shows bunt, likes to go for a strike. Steadley was deep. Western, a switch hitter. Always bats left against the right-hander and vice versa. 0-1, good pitch from Peyton Brooks. Will he come back with a fastball? Nope, curveball, and that's low. He throws more curves than fastballs, but that's what he does. It happens, man. You got to abide, dude. 1-1 one and one on Western. Tied at 5. Breaking ball, strike looking. 1-2. and two. Bucks beat Idaho Falls in a shortened game by a, uh, I mean, I have not seen it rain like that in a long time at a baseball field. Ducks were happy. Here's the 1-1, curveball low, or is that 2-2 now? We'll see. 2-1. All right. A lot of fans enjoying it. We hope you are, too, wherever you may be. All tied at five, bottom of the fifth. Lead off batter on, and a fastball misses outside. Full count now. Peyton Brooks, the right-hander for Idaho, pitching to the Montana's. Andrew Western chokes up on the bat. Curveball whacked down to the first baseman, and good one gloves it goes to the bag for the first out. Good at bat, though. Good, good sequence with the pitcher, too. Bottom of the fifth, tied at five here at Heroes Park. And here's Dylan Coleman, one for two. But he made two great catches in left field. One a diving catch and one a turning wind catch. Turning wind. One out, nobody on. Bottom of the fifth. Fastball found away by the Bucks. Dylan Coleman, easy going, great competitor. Easy spirit to be around. I've been traveling with him on the bus. We'll go to Fort Collins. I sent a note to a friend who broadcasts here, Ryan Spielborg. He does radio down there for the Rockies. Curveball low, one and one Ryan did his summer league games in Santa Barbara, and he, I think he started for five years for the Colorado Rockies. But he, the Bucks are going to Fort Collins, then going to a Rockies game. Hopefully I could see a friend and that's what i love about baseball you got these teenagers and if spillboard could pull it off maybe get them up in the booth or the suite or even maybe to hi say hi on the radio you know just a change a life changer the one one delivery curveball low two and one i mean most press boxes are nice but when you get to a major league stadium like the rockies in denver it's going to be a lot of fun for these kids. A lot of them, it might be their first major league game. Maybe. I don't know. Three and one. Peyton Brooks to Dylan Coleman. Tied at five. Bottom of the fifth in Bozeman. Thanks again for Max's dad coming in. Nice to see him. The fans, they have bleachers. They have seats. They have grass. They got great food. Fastball. Oh, he walked them a one out walk, the go ahead runs on for the Bucks in the bottom of the fifth, tied at five, and Dylan Coleman. Oh, the score tied at five, and here comes the manager. Peyton Brooks might be on a pitch count. I think you get, well, with this tournament, and it really cranks up today because all 12 teams are here from five states. Well, let's see Washington, Oregon, California, Nevada, Idaho, Wyoming, not seven states. 12 teams, seven states. Here we go. Did you see, is Mon was Montana voted the most patriotic state? Did you hear that? I mean, somebody's voting somewhere all the time. I don't know, but you know how they do these surveys. He's asking Google, Colton Poole. Well, I mean, patriotic, if that means you love your country, love your neighbor, you know, I mean, we do love Montana. 
I know it's home for me now. Who would have thought? I, I thought I'd finish my days in Malibu or Santa Barbara down at the ocean, but the mountains are just right. One out, go ahead, run on. Bottom of the fifth for the Bucks. Tied at five. Curveball, high fly ball. Avian Martinez fighting the win, has the second out off the bat of Bryce Hampton and left field. A little bit of wind coming his way now. It shifted. It was going third to first. Now it's going first to third. And here's Kellen Harrison, the shortstop for Bozeman. We're tied at five. Go ahead, run at first. Is Army running? There's that Coleman. Coleman down there. Potts coaching at first. Schultz at third. I saw his son walking around with black face on. Whatever you call that. Claire guard, but here's the right-hander, Kellen Harrison, shortstop against the right-hander Peyton Brooks. Fastball swung on him, missed strike one. Good high outside fastball. So Brooks has plenty of pitches left in him. I think you get 105 maximum, but if you go 65, then you don't have to rest as much. You could come back sooner because it's a tournament. Here's the 0-1. Fastball grounded to third. And by the shortstop between third and short, a single for Kellen Harrison. A ground ball with eyes as Coleman to second, the go-ahead run. And Kellen Harrison is one for two. Grounded it right under the glove of the shortstop in the hole. And here is Luke Rizzo. Five runs on 12 hits, two errors for the Bucks. The hometown team hosting the tournament. Five runs on eight hits, one error. Three teams here from Idaho for Blackfoot. Peyton Brooks has gone all the way. Nobody warming up. The right-hander delivers. Curveball low, 1-0 to Luke Rizzo, the third baseman. Luke doubled, scored, doubled, and scored. He's two for three. Corbin Holzer had three doubles in a game. Rizzo wants to do what Holzer did, but Holzer's camping right now. He's camping. He needs it. Curveball found a way. What I mean by he needs it, man, sometimes you got to step away from the game. You're training year-round. You're playing three sports like he does, sometimes taking a little breather. I remember my senior year in basketball, and, uh, man, I had to step away for a, a good hour one day. One ball, one strike. Two outs. Go ahead, run at second for the Bucks and Luke Rizzo against Brooks. Fastball lined into right, base hit. Rounding the bag at third. Well, coming in to score is Coleman, and it's six five Bucks on the single by Luke Rizzo. Down the right field line, and Luke is three for four. Coleman scores to give the Bucks a 6-5 lead. Down to third, Kellen Harrison to bring up Logan Palethorpe. And they're going to leave the right-hander in. Boy, a high, a high fastball. He drove it down the right field line. And that Cooper Niffin and Wright can run. I mean, that had double written all over it. But he got a great jump off the bat and got over there. And first and third now, Bucks lead 6-5, to five, bottom of the fifth, two outs. Curveball to Palethorpe, strike looking 0 and 1. So Rizzo, three for four, two runs scored, two doubles, and an RBI. Six, five bucks, bottom of the fifth inning. Lights are on. It's starting to get dark. Logan Palethorpe against Brooks, Peyton Brooks. Really two evenly matched teams. And when you get to the end of June like this, Man, you could just feel these guys, the soul of the game. These guys are settled in and having fun. Curveball, whack foul, 0-2 on Logan Palethorpe. He jumped at it. He hit, a, he hit a home run last Sunday in Billings the other way at Perch Field. So he's got, he's got power to all fields. Big gap in right center. Win first to third. Shortstop deep, second on the grass, outfield. Bucks lead at 6-5. They have runners at the corners with two outs. Fastball line to center and deep. Oh, way back it goes. This could be trouble. This might be three. Palethorpe turns second for three. He'll clear the bases. Logan Palethorpe with a triple to center. Rizzo scores. Harrison scores. 
And Logan Palethorpe is now three for three with four RBIs and a triple. Uh, we, we're going to hear from him in between innings here. He hit it over the center fielder head, Ben Wilson, and Ben wasn't shallow. And here's Jake Vegan, who's two for three. And there's a drive to right. Going back on it, Niffin. Will he get it? He dives. He Oh, a major league catch. He dove, backhanded it, but it, he, when he hit the ground, it came out. Let's see if he held it long enough. Nope. He dove just like a swimmer diving off a cliff or a diver. And so a triple, back-to-back -back triples by Vegan and Logan Palethorpe. It's nine to five bucks. RBI for Vegan. A drive to the right center field gap, turning to his right and sprinting. If in the right fielder dove, caught it, but when he hit the ground, it came out. What an effort. And here's Max Matucci, two for three on the night, the first baseman. Fastball away. Bucks have four in the inning. They lead it now, nine to five. Back to back triples by Pale Thorpe and Vegan. And Vegan drove that into the wind. A first to third win. Fastball hit down to second deep. Ross in right field, shallow, throws him in the dirt, but digging it out is a good one. Wow, he was in shallow right field. But the Bucks do it. They get four, and after five, they lead it by a score of nine to five on KGVM. Wow, the Bucks say hello, and the Mike Armstrong's going in now, or he's just bringing out the glove for somebody. Well, the Bucks now, nine runs on 15 hits. Oh, the score, two errors, five runs on eight hits, one error for the visiting Blackfoot Idaho Broncos, but they got a lot to say because we're only in the top of the sixth. Now, the reason they went with seven inning games instead of nine innings was because you could only have 17 or 18 on your roster and you can only pitch so many innings. In a tournament, a five-day tournament, you just don't have enough arms so seven innings works good, I guess. I like it. Brady Higgs says, thanks for the runs, boys. Oh, yeah, baby. Thanks to Kenyon Noble, Bridger down there. Went down there one day. I called him one day. I said, Bridger, this is Mark Miller. Hey, Mark, how you doing? Oh, I'm good. How are you? Oh, pretty good. Hey, we're going to try to get all the Bucks games on radio, especially away games fans can't travel to. You interested? Come on down. Oh, it couldn't have been nicer. Kenyon Noble, Livingston, Bozeman, Belgrade. And if you haven't been there, there's Sage McMahon, who's doing the umpire. Behind the plate at his stage. The Sager hit 16 home runs last year for the Bucks. Well, the... Broncos have their work cut out for them, but they have eight hits. They trail nine to five. We go to the top of the six, and I think that's Boston Ross to lead it off. It is. And Brady Higgs out on the mound with a four-run lead for the Bucks. Fastball swung on. Little chopper to Tooch. Underhands to Higgs for the out. No timing play. 3-1. They've done that twice today. We're in the top of the six. One out. And here's the leadoff batter, Ben Wilson. Single to lead off the game. Hit a line drive to left that Coleman robbed him of at least a double. Had an RBI bunt single with an R last time up. He's two for three. And here is the center fielder, Ben Wilson. 0-1. He takes a strike from Brady Higgs. 9-5. to five, Bozeman over Idaho or Blackfoot. Breaking ball strike. High and away. Looking 0-2. Yeah, the big sky looks big. Big sky state. They play him deep on the infield. 0 and 2 pitch. Higgs steps off. Western catching. Third to first. Rizzo, Harrison, Hampton, and Tooch. Left to right in the outfield. Coleman, Pelthorpe, and Vegan. Vegan tripled. Fastball pop foul. I haven't seen back to back triples this year in any game, and Palethorpe and Vegan just did it. The right fielder, Niffin, though. I mean, that would have been the catch of the century. Kid made one in center field for Bo uh, Missoula last week, but 
That was a great run and dive. He, he, he hit the ground hard, though. And speaking of hard, a fastball hits the batter right in the helmet. Ben Wilson right in the head. He's okay. They'll check him. He's all right. Here's Avian Martinez grounded out all three times. The center fielder, one out, one on, top of the six for the visiting Blackfoot Broncos, trailing nine to five. And Brady Higgs has gone all the way, but we have activity in the Bucks pen. Higgs really looking good. Big lead at first for Wilson. Set at the belt. Fastball fouled straight back on top of our roof, 0-1. Right here tomorrow, check the schedule. A lot of games, 12 teams are in town. So tomorrow, if you like baseball, come on out to Heroes Park. Pack up the kids, crank up the car. 0-1, runner at first for the Broncos. One out, they go to first. Tooch over there. Avian Martinez, center fielder. Bucks explode for four runs in the bottom of the fifth and break a 5-5 tie. The back-to-back -back Montana Alberta State Champions, but the border's closed, so they haven't played Alberta or Nuxall. Curveball swung on and fouled off. Protective swing, a little hit and run. But uh, the border's been closed, so uh, Medicine Hat can't go down, can't come down in Lethbridge. They're in the lake. Nuxall. He's in the league. They're in A, I think, but uh, they were on the schedule. So instead of going to Canada this week or next week or the week after sometime, going to Colorado Springs and going to a Colorado Rockies game. The 0-2 pitch with one out, breaking ball away. Ryan Spielborg's doing, I think, radio or TV, but uh, did his games in Summerwood Bat College League in Santa Barbara. Great dad. Love his dad, but... Uh, See if he can't give us a little Ryan Spillboard Rockies hometown spirit. We'll see. Fastball, little looper to short. Harrison's got it for the second out. Yeah, those little extra things when you come to the park. It's fun, man. It's fun. And here's Tyler Vance. He was robbed of a catch by Coleman. A sure double, but he's got an RBI. He's 0 for 2, hit the ball well, and pitch count, Sage McMinn. Sage goes 6'6", 220. He's all decked out. He's the home plate umpire. He was all state the last two years. He's played at Garden City, and now he's umping. I love it. Good job, Sage. And here's Tyler Vance, righty against righty, runner at first with two outs, top of the sixth. Curveball high. Nine, five bucks. They lead it. Bucks are in the field, and Brady Higgs has gone all the way, but there's a right-hander warming up for the Bucks. I'm, I can't see who it is. Might be Army. Yeah, it's Army, I think. Yeah, looks like him. Curveball, whack foul. One and one on the batter. So, really, Blackfoot with a real young team, but they they are mature. I mean, they play the game right. They really do. It's been a good game. Nine runs, 15 hits for the Bucks, two errors. Five runs, nine hits, one air for Idaho, Blackfoot. They have a runner at first with two outs, top of the six, and the batter's Tyler Vance. Fastball away, two and one. All right, all right. There's a guy. He just got a brat, put some mustard on it. They, I think they have. They used to have sauerkraut down there. I don't know if you could have open condiments. Two, one. Curveball whacked up the middle to his left. The shortstop dives off his glove into center field. A single for Vance with two outs to bring up Peyton Brooks. So a hard hit up the middle sends Wilson to second. Vance with a single at first. And here is Peyton Brooks. Peyton Brooks on the day had a double and scored. He's the pitcher. And now... With runners at first and second for the Broncos here in the top of the six and two outs. Here's their pitcher, Peyton Brooks. Righty against righty. Wind is nil, zero. Fastball popped up. Oh, he got his fastball. Just missed it. Just got under it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 0-1 oh, on the batter. I think Rob Higgs is on the grill. His son's on the mound. 
get yourself a double cheeseburger. You will. It's Montana beef. It tastes like beef. Breaking ball, squibber, past the mound. Here comes Harrison, the shortstop. Do or die play. He won't throw an infield single, and the bases are loaded on a squibber to short by Brooks. Down to third is Wilson on its second, Vance, and Brooks cued it by the mound. Harrison, no play, ate the ball, and the bases are loaded for Nate Goodwin, the first baseman, left-handed hitter. The tying runs at the plate, and the Broncos have scrapped back. Hit batter, single, single, bases loaded with two outs, top of the sixth. Fastball down to third. Rizzo's got it. He tags the guy going by for the third out. Or what? No, he he missed him. Oh, and Schultz will come out. uh, Two hopper hard to Rizzo, the third baseman to his left. And the runner going to third avoided the run. he, he, I, didn't, I couldn't tell how far he went out of the base path because Rizzo was already in front of the base path. So they're going to say he avoided the tag. Rizzo was going to go to first, but the batter just did a two-step backwards, and a run is in. Wow. Let's see. They're going to appeal it. It's safe. Wow. So that goes... Is that a fielder's choice or infield single? Since he missed the tag, fielder's choice, okay. Boy, the runner avoided the tag, did not go out of the baseline. Two outs, one in, tying run at first, curveball high to Ryan Steidley. Single, single, walked, RBI, scored a run. Bases are loaded. Oh, my. The tying runs at first for the Broncos from Idaho, Blackfoot. And Ryan Steidley, the man of the moment, curveball strike from Higgs. They got a barbecue, and his dad, Rob Higgs, usually met over there cooking the burgers. I mean, they taste like beef. They're fresh. They're local. We got cows everywhere if you eat that kind of stuff. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Fastball down and in, 2-1. Two, and one. two outs, bases loaded, one in. Hit batter, single, single, single on a missed tag at third. Now, Rizzo had time to throw to first, but the runner was going by, and the runner avoided the tag without going out of the line. You rarely see that. Breaking ball, strike, looking high outside corner, 2-2. So, Steidley's hit the ball well, plays good at third, very professional looking, steps out. Tying run at first for the Broncos from Blackfoot, Idaho, and Higgs trying to get out of it with two outs, two balls, two strikes, two outs. Fastball swung on, hit the short. Harrison's got it, goes to second, and 6-4 does it. So they strand the bases loaded. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Nine runs on 15 hits, two errors for the Bucks. Six runs, 10 hits, one error for the Broncos. Oh, man. Thanks to all of our sponsors, Albertson Safeway. We've been trying to get them. They, they're going to bring their barbecue, and we're going to have free hot dog night from Albertson Safe, Safeway. There's a little one-year-old riding on her mom's shoulders down there. Get a double cheeseburger here. You'll, you'll, you'll love it. Oh, yeah. Nine to six bucks brought to you by Kenyon Noble, Albertson Safeway, Ribbon Chop, Bozeman Daily Chronicle, and Harvest Solar. As we go to the bottom of the sixth inning, it'll be Hayes, Western, and Coleman to face. I think there's a new pitcher in. Yep. I don't know his number, number seven. So Brooks is out. Brooks went five innings. He gave up 15 hits and nine runs. Battle, though. I love the way these kids battle. We'll find out who it is. Thank you to First Security Bank. Thank you to Ribbon Chop House. Well, Idaho. All right, we got a new pitcher. Thanks, Sage. All right, nine, six bucks, bottom of the sixth inning. We'll do it again tomorrow, I think, at 7 o'clock. And then... How the tournament plays out will determine Sunday. That'll be the end of the tournament. Then the alumni games Wednesday. 
And then the Bucks are home for one. Then they go on the road and then on to Kalispell. Thanks to all the sponsors making it possible to travel with the Bucks. Yeah. I feel like I'm 16 again. I am. They're way more mature than me. Corbin Holster's hilarious. He's camping with his family. He got a he got dinged up in a few games down in Billings. We'll leave it at that. But a little rest. We hope you're having a good time wherever you're camping. Uh, Corbin Holzer and Preston Fleeman's at uh, in North Dakota at Northern State. That's where he's going to play next year. He's made it college trip. So they brought up Kellen Harrison and they brought up Bryce Hampton from the A team. They're doing well. Well, here's Red Hayes. Hayes is one for three. Another double. He leads the Bucks. New pitcher. We'll get a name change up low. One and zero. Oh. I don't have a roster, so I'm not sure who it is. DH number 22, Red Hayes. Red Hayes, the designated hitter, played third yesterday. Fastball whacked down the line, foul third, had double written all over it. Hayes jumped on it. Nine runs on 15 hits for the Bucks. six runs on 10 hits for the Broncos. Team from Reno, three a team from Idaho Falls, two teams from Idaho Falls, I think. A team from uh, Fairfield, up by Napa, California. Casper, change up, look good, is good. One and two, looking. Yeah, just looking. Browsing. Sometimes you browse on pitches. You're browsing. Hayes is ready. Fastball away, two and one. Bucks lead nine to six. Bottom of the sixth inning. Boy, they put up four in the bottom of the fifth. Broncos came back with one in the top of the six, had the bases loaded with two outs. Breaking ball hit down to left field. Base hit for Hayes. He'll round the bag with his second hit here in the bottom of the sixth. Red Hayes and by the diving third baseman, Steadley, to bring up Andrew Western, the catcher for the Bozeman Bucks. Oh, we might have a pinch runner. I don't know. Yeah, here comes Armstrong, Mike Armstrong. Army's a runner. Look at Army. Hayes gives him five. Hayes with another good night. I know he wants to hit for power, but hey, he's happy. Big guy, 6'2", 220. But Fleeman and Holzer are missed, but Harrison and Hampton doing it. And here's Andrew Western, the catcher. Right-handed pitcher against a left-handed batter. Change up low, one and oh. Cooper, if you, you get a second, could you could you ask the folks who's pitching for um for um uh, Idaho? Or maybe you might you, yeah. Thank you, brother. There's one in the dirt down to second goes Armstrong. Thank you, brother. Yeah, number seven. Oh, he's got his phone out. Look at him go. I can So it's Ashton Mulatto, Mulatto. Oh, Mercado. There you go. Austin Mercado on the mound. The right-hander, a bunt back to him. He looks third, goes first, sacrifice. Thank you. Mercado goes one, three on the bunt, sacrifice by Western. Down to third goes Hayes. Well, Armstrong's running. Here's Dylan Coleman and batting for Dylan. I'm not sure who this is. Oh, this is Bailthorpe, I think. Austin Cooper. Austin Cooper. I think this is his debut for the Bucks. So here's Austin Cooper with a runner at third coming up from the A team. Fastball swung on a miss. Strike one. Mercado out on the mound after Peyton Brooks battled well. Great competitor. So here's Austin Cooper. Runner at third, Bucks lead 9-6. Curveball whacked high. Second baseman says, I got it, and he does for the second out, Ross. Boston Ross. So, Cooper in his debut. Mulatto. M-E-R-L-A-D-O. Merlato. Thank you, Ashton Merlato out there. Merlato. M-E-R-L-A-D-O. We're reading it off the... The scorecard, curveball high, 1-0. Who's this? Let's see. 
this Bryce Hampton. Hampton won for three at the day. He's turned a nice double play on a 6-4-3. Great player, just 15, one and one. Merlato's curveball popped up a mile high. The catcher throws his mask out on the field. That's hilarious, and he makes a great catch against the wind. Threw his mask out on the field. I love it. You just don't want to trip on it. Well, this is it for the Broncos. We go to the last inning, the top of the seven. And they'll have the seven, eight, nine batters coming up. Uh, we'll see who's pitching. If Higgs comes back out, maybe. So nine to six bucks here in the last inning, top of the seventh inning, and the Blackfoot Broncos coming to bat, brought to you by Kenyon Noble. Well, that store in Bozeman. Clean, friendly, anything, everything you need from paint to plumbing to electrical. And it will be Mike Armstrong out on the mound. So Army in for Higgs. And Mike Armstrong will, he's in a close situation. So he'll come in with the Bucks leading nine runs on 16 hits, two errors. Broncos six runs on 10 hits, one error. And, uh, well, you see something new every game. And last inning with runners at uh, first and second, a ground ball to third by Goodwin. And uh, Rizzo coming in, it was a, just a two-hop short one, came in, got it, could have fired to first, but he turned to tag the runner, and the runner – Slowed down, took two steps backwards, and he missed it. But they stranded the bases loaded. But they'll need three to tie to keep it going here in the top of the seventh. And it'll be Micah Sandoval, Cooper Niffin, and Boston Ross against Mike Armstrong, the right-hander. He's a receiver and a defensive back here on the local high school team. Great athlete, about 6'1", 180. Right-hander. Anybody else new out there? No, nope, everybody's the same. Wait a minute, who's in left? Is Cooper in left? That might be Austin Cooper in left. Yeah, Cooper out. So Cooper got his debut in. But here comes Micah Sandoval, Cooper Neffin, and Boston Ross in the top of the seventh, trailing nine to six. And they need three to tie. And Mike Armstrong out on the mound. It's still, it's the lights are not taking effect. So it's kind of in between with the, the lights on at the stadium and the sun going down over the left field wall. And here is Sandoval. Fastball in there from Armstrong, 0-1 looking. Idaho's hit the ball well. They got 10 hits. And Sandoval on the day looking for his first. Curveball swung on a miss, strike two. Armstrong blowing away with that pitch. 0-2 on the batter. Micah Sandoval, the catcher for Blackfoot. Curveball again, hit down to short. Backhanded by Harrison off the ball. Bad hop off the glove. And the leadoff batter's on Micah Sandoval. And that'll bring up Cooper Niffin, the right fielder, and they'll have a pinch runner for Sandoval. So they got the leadoff batter on in the seventh. They got the leadoff batter on in the fifth. They got it on in the fourth and in the first. So this Idaho fall, excuse me, Blackfoot Idaho team, the Broncos, snappy team. Fastball line to right, base hit. And they got, they throw to first. They almost get him. If Vegan comes up throwing, he might have got him. He was looking at the runner going to second. The ball was a one-hop shot to him. He picked it, and then he said, I'm going to throw to first. He would have had – he might have had Niffin because it was so hard hit, a one-hopper. So first and second, the tying runs at the plate with nobody out, top of the seventh, a hard single. I've seen right fielders throw out runners at first, but he was hustling. Fastball swung on and missed. It gets by him. Behind the plate, everybody moves up. This is Boston Ross, 0-1. He's the tying run. Nobody out. Top of the 7, 9-6 Bozeman here at Heroes Park in Bozeman. And now the sun peeking through the clouds is coming through left center to right. 
Beautiful on the American flag. Just a great glow. 0-1 on the batter. Curveball. He hits it back to the mound. They check the runner. Throw to first for the first out. Now they got the runner picked off at second and third. Tooch throws to third. They got him. The runner got off third too far. They had the runner off second. That was a hit and run or a bunt and run or a swing and run. So that goes. What does that go? I don't know. What was that play on the out? I don't know. Tag at third, three. So two outs, runner at second now. So what happened? They had a they had runners at second and third, and they had a play on. The batter missed it. And then the runners were going kind of like a hit and run with second and third, and uh not to be. Fastball swung on a miss, one and one. This is Ben Wilson. Ben is two for three on the day with a run scored and an RBI. Here in the seventh, they had the tying run at the plate. Two outs now, runner at second for Idaho. Breaking ball, did he check it? Yeah, he did, two and one. But really, it was a um, a ground ball. Tooch, the runner was off second, and the runner was off third, and he fired to third, and Rizzo slapped the tag. So some sort of hit and run that didn't work out, but... As they say, you put pressure on the defense, you have to make a perfect throw, a perfect pitch, and, and the Bucks executed. Here's two and one on the batter now. Fastball low, three and one. Nine to six bucks, top of the seventh. Runner at second for Idaho. They trail nine to six, three and one on the batter. Ben Wilson and Mike Armstrong in to close it out. The 3-1 delivery is fastball low, and he's walked them. So the tying run will come back to the plate. A walk by Wilson at second. I mean, at first. Down at second is Niffin, and here's Davian Martinez. The center fielder grounded out three times and flew out. And now he's the tying runs with runs at first and runners at first and second for the Broncos. And Mike Armstrong, one out away from a victory. And Blackfoot has something to say. There's a squibber, a rolling bunt, and it's going to stay fair. The throw to first in time. End of game. A swinging bunt. It died 10 feet up the right line in the dirt, about a two inch fair. Western picks it up since he's towards the dugout. Tooch had to stretch into foul ground, and they get the hustling runner, Martinez, barely. So that goes 2-3 to end the game. Wow, that's the ball game. What a great finish, though. Idaho, a lot of pep in the tank. Nine runs on 16 hits, two errors for the Bozeman Bucks. Six runs on 12 hits, and one error for the Blackfoot Broncos. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I'm going to try to... Send it back to, I hope we're on. I don't even know if we're on. i got to find the uh, the code. What did it do with the code? There it is. All right. I hope we're on. I don't know. Okay. Five, oh, one, 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 eight. Let's see if we're still on. Don't know. Try it again. Bear with me, folks. Try to do this. Okay. And yep, the game is still on. So it all worked out, Bob. We'll read all about it with Colton Poole. This is Mark Miller. The final score, the hometown Bozeman Bucks 9 the visiting Blackfoot Idaho Broncos 6. We'll be here tomorrow at 7. Read all about it in the uh, Bozeman Chronicle. <laughs> yeah, brother. What a pleasure to be with you. 
And uh, we'll do it again tomorrow night at 640. Remember, games all day here at Heroes Park. Pack up the kids, crank up the car. For Bob Wall, Fitz, Boo, and the Senator, this is Mark Miller rounding third and heading to home. Good night, everybody. Oh, my – thank you, my dad.